Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your general love reading for August 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you might want to check out one of your other signs or one of your person signs. Or you can book a personal reading. And you keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because it is a general reading. All right, let's see what is going on with Sagittarius first half of August. What is the overall energy? All right, we have mirroring. Okay, so definitely whatever it is that you might be feeling, it could be that your person is feeling this as well, or just going through something similar or just feeling in a very similar way as you. Let's get into this and see what this is about. Maybe for some of you, um, the swan is something symbolic. Right, so for the situation, we have the seven of swords crossed by the eight of wands. All right, so somebody is going against the direction that they want to go in here. All right, um, there's a little bit of escapism, and what's challenging here is actually taking action, moving forward. So I feel like somebody is just really holding themselves back. Could be you, could be your person. Um, let's see, for the recent past, we have the Six of Swords. Rec near future, we have the Four of Cups. All right, so recently somebody has left something in the past. Somebody has tried or has moved away from a situation, okay? So this could be you, um, or it could even be your person. We'll see, though. Um, coming up, I do see a little bit of disappointment. It doesn't necessarily have to be you, but we'll see again when we clarify. Let me just get the rest of these. We have the Ten of Wands for your energy. The Three of Swords for them, the Four of Wands for you, the Fool for them, and the Two of Pentacles for the potential outcome here for the first half of August. All right, so I feel like you, you're tired. You, you have been on this journey or on this path with this person probably for a pretty long time. I don't feel like this is something new, especially also having the Four of Wands here. Um, I feel like you're tired of, you feel like you've been carrying a lot of the burden, almost like you've been carrying the burden for the both of you in one way or another. I feel like um, possibly it's this person who has been escaping. Again, roles can be reversed. Um, a situation, and because they have been escaping the situation, you have been carrying a lot of that weight. Um, possibly taking on some responsibilities, or just, yeah, I just feel like you've been giving, you've been giving to this, and it's all just been, being weighed on you. You've been taking some accountability, even, even if that's not really the case in truth, you feel like you may have taken some accountability here. Um, definitely, though, feeling like you want this connection, right, with the Four of Wands. You feel like this is the person that you belong with still, even though you're just really, really tired. Um, your person here is going through a lot of pain at the moment, feeling very um, heartbroken or just really hurt by something or someone. And I feel like because of that, because of the pain that they're feeling here, right, we have the Fool, which seems to be a common um, theme for the fire signs this time around. Um, wanting to move in a new direction, wanting to take a leap of faith, wanting to try something new, wanting to take a risk. But it's interesting, I still see some disappointment here in the very near future, but then also some um, juggling of energies, trying to find some kind of a balance, trying to put things in place as the potential outcome. So 
Let's actually clarify. Alright, so let's see the um, Seven of Swords with the Eight of Wands. Alright, so we have the Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Moon. Alright, so yeah, it definitely feels like somebody is escaping, which means that they're not giving as much as the other person. I feel like you are the one who has been um, putting in a lot of effort, possibly even trying to help this person, um, or just, <coughs> excuse me, trying to resolve issues trying to assist them, or just taking a lot of the weight, taking a lot of the responsibility, whereas the other person, because you were doing that, it feels like they were just kind of um, receiving that and then not giving back because all of the energy was being put into this connection by you. And for that reason, this person could just kind of escape things here and there. And this could even be what... Um, on a very energetic level, right? It doesn't have to be um, practical. I, I'm not talking finances here. I'm mostly talking, although it definitely could be, but I'm mostly talking about putting in the effort to resolve issues when it comes to communication or when it comes to just anything. So I feel like, again, it's, you know, one of you was being very um, nurturing, very compassionate, very understanding, very providing, giving the energy, whereas the other person was not, is escaping a situation here. Um, so we'll see what this mirroring is, because I'm actually seeing, at the moment, I'm seeing opposite energies from each of you, so it'll be interesting to see where it is that this mirroring is happening. Now, it's also coming in like this person is, there's a fear. There's a fear and not, not only a fear, but also not seeing things clearly. And it's because they are escaping the situation, just trying to avoid it basically. So by avoiding it, what they're doing is they're actually suppressing certain things or certain um, desires or taking on certain responsibilities. And again, this could be in terms of communication, okay, for some of you, holding back, avoiding that communication. Let's see the Six of Swords for the recent past. All right, we have the Page of Wands and the Two of Wands. All right, so I feel like, okay, so here's what this is. Somebody began to actually move away from the conflict. Somebody, it, it, it feels like there was this movement towards a calmer state of being or moving towards um, the light basically here leaving something in the past that was started but then I feel like it was um, stalled like just when it began to happen like things seemed to be getting better or things seemed to be resolving and they were they were that that start was made it's like all of a sudden there was like, okay, okay, stop moving. I don't feel like it was actually a step back. It feels more like, all right, okay, now stop. And it got, it kind of got stuck there. So let's see the Ten of Wands for your energy. All right, the Hierophant and the Tower. Yeah, I feel like you're at your wit's end, basically. Um, you definitely feel like this is a very strong connection with this person. Um, you feel like you have either a spiritual connection or just a very deep connection. This is somebody that, you know, you were taking very, very seriously and were, you know, um, you know, they were like marriage material in your mind. 
and I feel like this is just being blown up right now with that tower like you're just like you're just done you want to put that burden down it's been weighing very very heavy on you whatever it is that's going on here with this person let's see the four of wands because you're still feeling this connection here see the knight of swords and the seven of swords showing up again all right, yeah, so this is how you're viewing them. You want this connection with them, but you want them to take action. You want them to actually be the ones to come and communicate or to take some action, to speak their truth, whatever, to actually put in that energy and to take a step forward and stop avoiding. You want them to take action on that escapism. So let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the Three of Swords. And I actually just looked at the um, timer. And I swear it was 11-11. I almost didn't say it, but then I thought of the mirroring. And 11-11 is definitely a mirroring number. So that's definitely a message here for some of you. All right, so clarifying the Three of Swords, we have the Four of Wands and the Nine of Wands. So the Four of Wands showing up for them as well. So they're feeling a lot of heartbreak when it comes to this connection because they're feeling the same way about you. All right, so could be part of the mirroring here. And not only that, in this particular deck, the Four of Wands, and just when I was talking about the mirroring, is actually showing a mirror, All right? So there's this man who is looking in the mirror, but rather than seeing himself, he is seeing a woman. So I feel like, yeah, for some of you, if you do identify with the twin soul um, concept, this could definitely be a message for you. All right. Whatever the case, though, this is a very challenging situation for this person. They're feeling very, very heartbroken because they feel the same way you do. They're seeing you almost uh, in the way that they see themselves. Like you are connected. But... There is something that is very, very challenging. Um, I don't know what that is. It's not being shown to me here. But I feel like this person just feels like there's a lot of obstacles in the way. And this is why they have been suppressing certain things and escaping. Let's see the fool because that's action right there. Ooh, judgment. And the fool showing up again. Okay, wow. So yeah, as I said in the beginning, I feel like it's this pain that is actually pushing them forward. This person has not given up. I feel like you have given up more than this person has. You still want this, but you're at this point of giving up. Um, and I'm not judging that at all, okay? Always trust your intuition. I'm just telling you the energies that I'm seeing. So this person has not given up. This person is actually feeling a lot of pain. Um, I feel like, you know, they do look in the mirror and, and they're seeing you rather than seeing themselves. And this is actually pushing them towards taking some kind of an action, even if it feels risky. All right, this is going to be... Um, it's going to feel like a big decision for them. All right, judgment. It's going to be based in their truth as well. And I feel like they want to revive something here with you. And this is why they're taking this action. But it's going to feel like it is a very big risk for them. I mean, the fool showing up twice here. <laughs> like, wow. All right, but let's see that four of cups because there's that disappointment. Ooh, seven of wands. Seven of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I, you know what? I actually feel like this is um, this could be you blocking this out. I, there's disappointment here because I feel like this offer is coming in <clears throat> with this Ace of Cups. Um, 
but I feel like it's not going to be complete. It's not going to be 100% the result that you would be looking for. And for that reason, you're setting a boundary. And I feel like you might actually reject that. And this is why there is this disappointment. This is somebody ignoring somebody's offer here that is coming in. That cup that is being offered, it's not 100% ripe yet. All right, Seven of Pentacles. Yes, maybe the seeds are, have been planted, so maybe there is something happening here, definitely, all right? We have the Fool here in Judgment, so this person is definitely doing something. There is some action here. They're taking some steps, but it's not going to be ripe just yet, and that is what is leading to this disappointment. And I feel like it's mostly gonna be on their end um, rather than yours, because you are not going to be accepting of that, because your tower is already blowing up. So let's see the two of pentacles for the potential outcome here. All right, so we actually got quite a few. We got four. We have the queen of cups, the seven of cups, the sun, and the nine of pentacles. Okay, so the outcome here for the first half of August there's going to be a little bit of back and forth. I feel like there's somebody is really still not giving up. It's not giving up because the love is there. Somebody is following their intuition here. Possibly though also, you know, taking a good look at the options because that result, you know, um, isn't right as I said, like it, it's not complete. So there's a lot of weighing out of, of different options here. And I feel like that's actually going to be you. Um, we also have, have the Nine of Pentacles. Definitely you just really trying to stand, stand your ground. Stand your ground. You don't want to go back to something that is not, that is not complete, that is not ripe just yet. It, I do feel like things are moving in a very positive direction here, All right, also having the sun. moving towards that truth, moving towards love, but still kind of being shaky about accepting this um, for, for the time being. But again, as I said, this person is not giving up. They're still going to put in that, that effort. All right, Sagittarius, so if this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. All right, and we have higher power. Okay, so I really feel like this mirroring card is just symbolic of the type of connection that this is, which is just a very powerful connection. Um, and it could be, you know, that this is a specific message for some of you that there is some kind of mirroring going on where this person is feeling the same as you, all right, when it comes to the emotions and to what they feel about the connection. Um, definitely a divine soulmate connection. All right, higher power. and. This is also representing that, yes, the divine is also supporting this connection. All right, so just keep following your intuition. I feel like things are moving in the way that they are supposed to, all right, for this. So those are your messages, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.